That one's intense. Oh. Someone had said that they want to see some uh, flexibility and strength stuff. That's that's perfect because that's that's the priority to begin with. At least flexibility is. And we're gonna get some fine pointers and some techniques from the golf yogi. The one technique that I found most important and the ones that everyone harps on all the time is breathe. You've got to breathe throughout all this. Otherwise, you're just creating more tension. When we want to go deeper into a stretch or deeper into a yoga pose, we don't push more, we breathe deeper. And oh. that's a great way to look at it. So if you think you can get deeper into something instead of, oh, I've almost got those toes, I've almost got those toes, I'm going to push, push, push. Maybe it's going, okay, I think I can get down a little bit lower, so how deep can I breathe all the way into the diaphragm? And, and you're still, inhale, you let yourself out of it a little bit, exhale, you're trying to go down a little bit. As soon as you start breathing, eh, things start to loosen up it's a little bit. It still hurts. It's still really intense. Flexibility. Yeah. Talking about, like, one, how to get more flexible, but my question was, too, is, like, like what what like what are the milestones like how do you measure like you know i can't touch my toes today i three weeks from now i can touch my toes like I, i'm not even sure if that's a good measure either you know it's um there are baselines and stuff like that um you know your range is a is an easy way to test um you know i've never been able to get to here i can only hit here on my on my shins or whatever um you know that's showing you how your ranges are increasing a little bit, which is great. Um, I'll be honest, and I think the longer I've been doing this, the more I've tried to get a little bit more holistic approach to it. Um, I, I really just like to go off how you feel, you know, is or do you feel better? Are you moving better? Um, one of the things that I talk to people about all the time is, is um, the difference in, with flexibility and mobility. You know, they're, they go hand in hand, but you know, your flexibility, imagine, imagine if I'm laying on my back and I stick one foot up in the air and I say, hey, Colby, grab my foot and pull it back. And, and I'm pretty flexible, you know, and so you can walk my foot back to almost over my head, right? Mm -hmm. And then I say, okay, let go of it as fast as you can. And then my leg goes flying back, you know, to about 90 degrees. Well, there's your difference right there. There's the explanation, your flexibility is how much that muscle can actually stretch. Your mobility is how much you can control it. What I try to tell people is your flexibility in golf doesn't really matter. Your mobility is the only thing that matters. Now, the catch-22, you can't get mobile without flexibility. So, okay. <laughs> but that, that's kind of the splitting hairs there where it's um, – you know, the, if you've never been able to touch your toes and an hour later I have you putting your palms on the floor, are you a better golfer? No. Yeah. But, you know, all of a sudden if the hamstrings aren't pulling on the hips and on the glutes and now we're able to arch and tuck our pelvis a little more, which gives us a little bit more range in the rotation through our hips, now we've changed our golf game. The, the mobility piece is where you start seeing big gains in your golf game. Now the flip side, when you're stretching – and you're doing yoga and that's why I like yoga so much is that it's not just static and dynamic stretching it's adding in a movement piece it's adding in a twisting piece it's it's having that yeah we need you to you know be folded into this with a little bit of a twist and a rotation we need you to have you know moving through these kind of different ranges and and that's why I kind of fell in love with the yoga piece was that what I saw in the strain on my low back and the strain on my hips in my practice when I was still, you know, knocking around mini tours, um, that strain just kind of went away, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, so it, uh, it, now back then I would have told you, oh yeah, it's because I'm so much more flexible. Now I know that it's because I'm so much more mobile. So instead of just doing side lunges, you know, we're doing skater hops and, not only are we doing skater hops, you know, jumping off your left leg to your right leg and landing, now it's a reach and a touch with the opposite hand. Now it's driving back. So it's not just that lateral movement, 
Yeah. We're also getting control, stability in that standing leg. You have to be able to reach and turn just a little bit with that offhand. So now we're seeing a lot of people using, you know, med balls and having to turn and fire and making it really dynamic and throwing things and jumping. If I'm doing the same stretches, say, three, four days a week, if I'm doing the, the exact same stretches or the same stretching routine, is that going to hinder me in the long run? Should I be switching it up and, and, and giving it more variety? Yeah, so, I mean, is it going to hinder you? Um, no. It's still going to be beneficial, and that's one of the big things is stretching for specifically what your body needs. So, you know, when I was still playing golf for a living, it was a lot of hips for me. It was a lot of hamstrings for me. It was a lot of shoulders for me. Just nice easy little pumps up and down should really feel it into that hip flexor there that feels good you can also straighten the front leg out you can bend and straighten get into this little the knee will go just in front of the ankle there but not too much just play around with these when you can add some things to these as well that are going to be really good for you as golfers we can bring one hand right underneath the nose open the other all the way to the sky start to stack those shoulders up just try to get a big rotation through there with our legs wide. We're really stable with these, so we can take these nice and deep. Interlace these hands back behind the back. This time, we're just gonna inhale up a little bit and bring that fist off to the right side. Now, it doesn't have to be all the way over here next to your pocket, guys. It can be just off of center. But if you can get it over here, use a little more leverage, that's great. So for this one, we're gonna inhale, release a little bit. Exhale, press those elbows in towards each other. And the other way we do these, call them hitchhikers. Thumbs facing up and back. Get one of these a little bit slower. The range of motion is about half as, the, as much as it is when the palms face down and in. So these, you're starting to get into the front of the chest a little bit. You're gonna get the front of the shoulders. But again, the more you can feel like you open when we come around here and not sitting here kind of tucked in there, the more you're gonna to start to find that openness through the shoulders all the way into the back and op hopefully open the chest and the heart a little bit. You know, if you're not stretching the hamstrings, stretching the back side of the body, loosening up the glutes, loosening up the hammies, um, you know, all that, you're probably, the, the back's going to feel a little tight. Um, but for golfers, why that's a big deal is that really, really limits the amount of rotation we can get through our hips. Um, you know, I have people all the time try this, like tuck your, you know, totally tuck the pelvis under and try to rotate. You're not going to move very far. Yeah. Uh, when you can really arch and tuck that pelvis quite a bit, that's where you can get the really good rotation through the hips around it. So, Is there a stretch or, or anything, like a, a specific stretch that would be like a good go-to after a run or, or, or even just for the, the hamstrings and the, and the quads? I, I'm big on inactive stretching after you get done uh, running and riding. You don't want to get done and go into a, into a deep stretch or, you know, you never... Yeah, get done with a long run and go straight into a yoga class and just and just destroy those muscles. Lean up against your couch, maybe just watching TV here and just try to sit, prop yourself up and just let those knees fall. If you do that for a few minutes and don't sit like that all night, but try it for a few minutes and see if after a couple of minutes, the knees don't start to automatically open. I want you to take those legs as wide as you can get them. And then the first thing we're gonna do is reach back and grab the butt and pull all that meat up out of the way so you get the pelvis right underneath you, you get in a great position here. So sitting up nice and tall with this one, this is all you need, guys. This is the whole stretch. You can lean back against something as long as you're not leaning back like this. You can prop yourself up against the wall, against the couch, against your bed. So I want you to find a wall where you've got plenty of space to get your feet up, and you're gonna scoot one hip all the way into the wall. Once you get there, you're just gonna roll over take those feet straight up the wall. So this is the one out of these three that if you want to prop, if you have pretty open hamstrings, you can throw something with a little bit of weight. I use a little sandbag that we use in yoga. It's about six pounds that I'll throw up here and I'll lay here for about 10 minutes when I've been spending a lot of time running or cycling or walking when I've been playing a lot of golf. But again, all we're trying to do is get that butt glued up against the wall, try to feel the wall. You're not going to feel it behind your knees, but try to feel the wall with as much of your legs as you can just lay here guys there's absolutely nothing you need to do so uh, more more active you can get you know moving around a little bit better you're gonna feel you know simple as that and, and it doesn't have to be be crazy um you know it doesn't have to be running and just be walking it doesn't have to be crazy amounts of yoga just a little bit of stretching it's, yeah uh, you know the the more you get into it the more you you know, it, it doesn't matter where you start, just start somewhere and, and get a little get a little movement going in your life. And it's, you know, it's amazing how much better you feel. So this is just a snippet of what Mark and I talked about. We talked, I think, for just under an hour. And I, 
I don't want to put all that information in here. I don't want to inundate you with, with too much information. So this first video is just about stretching flexibility, obviously, flexibility versus mobility. Uh, and I'm going to link up um, a bunch of the videos down in my bio. It's going to take you to another page, another YouTube page called Golfers RX. And I think Mark has, uh, we have a playlist of Mark in there with about 50 videos, which that should keep you busy and that'll that'll definitely help you with your stretching with your mobility with movement with everything and then as we move on i'm going to start releasing other little snippets uh, of this conversation that i had with mark and you know, we talk about recovery uh how best to recover after a round of golf how to recover after doing any kind of endurance stretching foam rollers other tools uh yeah that's about it i hope you enjoy it uh if you like it thumbs up if you don't thumbs down you can go fuck yourself <laughs>